The Montreal University's Concordia and McGill are launching lawsuits against the Quebec government. They are over tuition hikes for international students, which mainly affects English-speaking students at those two institutions. CBC's Kwabina Oduro is in Montreal with the details. Concordia's application for judicial review was filed in Quebec Superior Court this morning. They are asking the court to quash the tuition hikes. They argue that its purpose is weakening the English language university and says the government is basing it off fake stereotypes. Now, both McGill University and Concordia University have seen significant drop in applicants since this change was announced. Now, the Quebec government is increasing tuition from around $9,000 to a minimum of $12,000. Now, Concordia's President Graham Carr says they are reducing the number of students coming from the rest of Canada and uh, abroad is going to limit the diversity that Concordia has and that Montreal has. Now, Carr says the hikes will disproportionately negatively affect the financial state of the Anglophone universities, and that's why they're going through with this lawsuit. We are taking this action to uphold the values that are integral to who we are as Concordia. Concordia is a great young university. Its diversity is part of what makes it great. The fact that it's in Montreal is part of what makes it great. We're committed to working to help students coming from elsewhere to learn French because we want them to be able to make the choice to stay here. But with the policies that have been implemented, we felt we had no choice. McGill University is filing its own lawsuit as well. In a news release, a McGill person said the university is asking the court to temporarily suspend the tuition increase temporarily while it's considered before the courts. And they are also arguing that the tuition hikes were put in place unreasonably and were adopted following an inadequate process of consultation. Now, both schools argue that the changes constitute as discrimination under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, as well as the Quebec Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Now, McGill's university spokesperson says these measures are illegal, and if they are upheld, they threaten the mission of McGill University as one of the top schools in the world and its vital role that it plays in Quebec society. The Quebec government has not yet reacted to this lawsuit. Uh, we asked them for a comment, but they have not gotten back to us just yet. But in the past, they have defended their case about why they implemented the tuition hikes. The higher education minister, Pascal Derry, has said Quebecers had no obligation to subsidize education from students coming from the rest of Canada. Premier Francois Legault said those same students that are coming to Montreal are contributing to the decline of French in the city because when they come to Montreal and study, or they come to Quebec, rather, and study, they leave after and they don't learn French. Along with the tuition hikes, Quebec is also asking the three language universities to ensure that out-of-province students learn French starting in the 2025 to 2026 academic year. Those students will need to show that they are able to hold conversations in French by the end of their undergraduate studies. McGill says that they are not taking this specific section of the tuition hikes to court. Meanwhile, Concordia is hoping to get the whole decision on the tuition hike um, uh, decision overturned. I'm not going to uh, express an opinion on the outcome of a judicial process. What I will say is I'm confident that we're doing the right thing. And I'm confident that we're doing the right thing, not just for Concordia, but for the autonomy of all Quebec institutions, of all Quebec universities. And we're doing the right thing to support accessibility to higher education for all, which is a critical value in Quebec and one that Concordia shares. I've spoken to students that are at Concordia University and McGill University, and they say that they can already feel that the vibes are off. They say that they can feel the financial implications, and some of them are even saying that they're worried that some of their courses won't be offered to them next year. Now, McGill is asking the courts to suspend the tuition hike increase while it's before the court. Kubino Duro, CBC News, Montreal.